guys welcome back to my channel today I created this 90s grunge inspired makeup tutorial today is the last day of the leader spirit week at work I work at beauty brands and we are just doing um, decade day is what it's called today and I was born in the 90s, 1996, so I figured I would just do a grunge makeup tutorial and wear a plaid shirt and crimp slash wave my hair. And I actually really, really love it. And I am digging this makeup. So I wanted to do a quick little hair tutorial for you guys showing you how I crimp my blue hair and I just use a heat protectant this is the silk fusion heat protectant and I just sprayed that all over my hair and combed it through and then this is the bedhead wave runner I've had this for a few years now and I don't really honestly use it that much but I wanted to try it for this video because it's kind of the theme what I used to do back in the day so just using that and just crimping my entire head of hair and the best way to use this is to not pull on the hair while you are trying to crimp it just let it be a little bit loose as you can see how I'm doing I'm just kind of crimping it and then pushing up the hair to where it's a little bit loose so it doesn't create a straight wave because I want it to be kind of wavy and poofy but not too crazy. So to set all of that I am just taking my Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray. I love this stuff. It smells like pineapples. And then I'll just run my fingers through it a little bit. I don't want to run it too much or it will get super poofy super fast but I just take a little bit of the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum and apply that for a little added shine and for the anti-frizz properties. So going right on in with my foundation, this is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation and I am just applying this with a brush. This is the Tarte Rose Gold brush in their Rose Gold uh, collection and I am just applying that all over my face and neck and blending it into my hairline. And then for concealer, I'm going in with the two lightest shades of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just applying this where I normally do towards the center of my face. And then I'll just be blending that out with a damp beauty blender sponge. And to set that concealer, I am just going in with my Glow Minerals Contour Kit and taking this light shade and applying that just where I need to set the concealer. And then I'll be going in with my face powder, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and setting my entire face. If you guys know a really good powder for dry skin that isn't preferably matte then definitely leave a comment below but I really want to find a good affordable compact powder for dry skin so I'm just bronzing up the rest of my skin with my physician's formula butter bronzer like normal and then I will be using the contour shade to just contour the perimeter of my face for a little bit of added definition and my nose as well and then for the highlight I'm just taking the same one in that palette I've been obsessed with this one recently and I am just highlighting the normal parts of my face that I normally highlight and then I'll just take my powder brush and blend everything together so that way it just looks seamless and more natural I went ahead and applied my eyebrows off camera, but I will list the products down below.
and then for my transition shade for the eyeshadow i'm going in with this koco peach color transition shade i am currently out of my makeup geek peach smoothie which is my favorite peach transition shade but this still does the job and then i'm going in with my Too faced chocolate bonbons palette and taking this taupish brown shade and blending that throughout the crease as well and just blending it very lightly not adding too much of that color because i will be going in and blending another shade on top of it which is this darker reddish brown and this is going to be the main blending color of this eyeshadow grunge look and i am just starting out with just a little product and then i will be building up this color to make it a little bit more intense but I am blending it out with that peach shade to make sure that there's going to be no harsh lines because you do want this look to be a little bit messy, but you still want it to be blended out. And then I'm taking that shade again with a smaller, more defined brush and applying that into the socket of the crease. And this next step, I really didn't love, but I probably would have if I would have had a better pencil. This is the Urban Decay 24 Hour Glide On Pencil in the shade Rockstar. I don't know if this product was just old or what it was, but it was very dry and super hard to blend out. You guys will see me struggling trying to blend this product out. But if you have a creamy black or reddish or purplish kind of eyeshadow crown then use that as your eyeshadow base for the darker smoky eye that you're going to be creating because it will definitely help the eyeshadow pop but I didn't love this eyeliner pencil that I use so just use a different one if you have one and then I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Becca eyeshadow palette and taking the dark shade in that palette and applying that right on top of the pencil and then blending it out and I am just taking the last brown shade that I used in the chocolate bonbons palette to blend out that color and then I'm going to use that same eyeshadow palette and take this warmer mid-tone brown and blend that throughout the crease just to add a little bit better of a blending shade and then going in with my naked 2 palette I'm taking the dark black shade in the color blackout and using this to press against my black eyeliner that I used and this will just ensure that your eyeliner stays all day and is super black and then I'm taking MAC nylon eyeshadow to highlight the inner corner of my eye look this is really going to give that pop and added definition to the eye look i love a good highlighted inner corner and brow bone and again i'm just taking that same shade and highlighting the brow bone and i felt like it wasn't blended enough so i did go back in with that peach shade and the darker red and just blended those colors out a little bit more. And for mascara, I'm switching it up today. I'm using my Stila Huge Extreme Black Mascara for my top lashes and i don't love this mascara as much as i do my maybelline the rocket but it does give a lot of volume and then i wanted to go with a dark vampy lip to match the grunge style of the eye so I am taking an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I will list the name of it down below, but then I am setting my face with some setting spray and then adding a little bit of oil to my hair for the anti-frizz properties. 
and let me know what you guys think about this look. I love it. I felt super, super grungy and 90s. And I feel like the choker definitely made everything come together. And then also the plaid shirt that I'm going to be putting on as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, comment down below any video suggestions, and share it with your friends if you do love this makeup tutorial because that would be awesome. See you guys in the next video.